Guys and girls, it's Nerf Mod Boy Productions here. Woo! Okay, so I just wanted to show you some stuff. I've already shown it to you, but some of it's new, some of it's modified, some of it's. Like I said, I was gonna show you some modified stuff a little bit after the other modified stuff. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, uh, here we go. We just get that right. Hey, long shot. Get out of the way. There. There we go. That's a good long shot. Hey. Hold on. Yeah, here's the thousand. Okay. Um, alright. Here we go. Okay. Let me start with the smaller stuff, I guess. I'll start with the fire strike. This I got from my friend. And, uh, yeah. I've already had one of these, but I like it. I took out... Well, I didn't take out the air structure. I've heard... Well, I've tried it before with the, one of these and it just made it worse. So I left the air stricter in there and I put some tape under the o-ring to make it better. It's pretty cool, but I'm not gonna fire all of these. I'm just gonna show you the ones I'm really interested in. Anyways, uh, yeah. Here is the Night Finder. Very cool, it's the one with the white handle. I think that's white or gray, I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, um, I took out the air restrictor, I did a ton of stuff to it. I tried putting in a really powerful spring, but it wasn't working, so I just said screw it and put in a slightly smaller one, added another one. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And here we have two ion fires. Modulus. One, this one is modified. I took out the air restrictor and this one's gonna stay the same. Spring's a little bit different in this one for some reason. Probably because I just switched it out. I'm not even sure what I did. This will be so difficult to do wheel. It's like. Ah! See? Didn't even fire all the way. Anyways, these are cool guns, but I might cut off the top portion just so as I can cock it better without the thing in stuck in my hands. Yeah. All right, so now we've got this. This is the Lawbringer that I turned into the one that's coming out next year called the Negotiator. I cut off the stock, which is over there. I cut off the barrel, which is also over there. I took out the air restrictor, put a different spring in there, did all this cool stuff to it, and I love it. The spring was a pain to put back on, though. It took forever. And the spring, the extra one that I added is, um... A jolt spring, I think. It's one of the newer jolts, so it has a slightly powerful, more powerful spring in there. It's got two of them in there. And tape under the o-ring, which it didn't make it better. It made it about the same. It doesn't even sound as loud. Listen. I mean, it still sounds loud, but not as loud as it probably should. Anyways, uh, I'm going to get it loaded up. So this is the last one I wanted to show you. Um, Yeah. I guess I'll just show you a comparison of the um, dark, no, dark zone darts against the um, elite darts. I think I got a ton of new darts, so that's going to be very difficult to do. Anyways, yeah. Very cool, I'd say. I recommend you get one of these just to do this mod. Don't do it in front of your parents because they'll think it's broken like mine. Yes, my parents, or my mom thought it was broken when I cut it open like this. So yeah, be careful who that ends up happening, or whatever. Um, is this a normal dart? No. Alright, I got tons of darts, guys. I have to count how many darts I got someday. Um, alright. So, um, we've got 12 darts loaded up. They're all slightly different. Let's see how good it fires. Here we go. This thing's hard to cock back now. Shoot's good though. And I'll watch it. There. That's basically it, guys. Well, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. It's my desolator. Alright. Um, so it revs, it's basically a reshelled strife, except it's a lot cooler looking. It's really cool, guys. It's got a couple sling points, 
tactical rails, and it only t and it takes affordable batteries. I think double A's are cheaper than C batteries, which is what the Rapid Strike takes, and those can be quite expensive. Um, this also came with an interesting banana mag, the Modulus uh, ECS10. That one came with a uh, cool looking banana mag, but it didn't have these cool textures on it. So I like that very much. And it's got a nice little slanted grip right here, which I think is very comfortable. It's one of the most comfortable blasters I've ever held in my hands, but it's kind of small-ish. Like, it's not bad. But it's notice noted, you should note that it's kind of cramped right here. Like, I might be one of those people like Coop that might complain about grips. My hand is huge. It's like basketball player size or something like that. It's very big hand and it's not because of a bee sting or something like that. It's just um very difficult to um put my hand in there. I might cut this part off maybe. I'm not sure. I want to know what's in there first before I do that. It's very cool blaster. I love the white colors to it. like the black and the white and the orange. I think it makes it look really nice. I love it. I love this blaster so much. You know, we've been all the way out. Alright, so let me just do this real quick. It only holds 10 darts, so it's going to be a little bit less than what was in the, um, uh, what's it call it? Anyway, it's very fun to just fire, especially if you have another mag loaded up, guys, because it's just so fun. And I recommend you get one just because they're so fun to use. And yeah, I think I've said that like times now. One, two. Alright, I'm gonna get two more, put them in there. Alright, here we go. Ten. Ten. Get in there. Alright, ten. Wait, how many is that? One, two. Ooh, eleven. I'm not gonna do eleven. Screw up the blaster. There we go. Gonna leave that elite guard right there. Here we go. Let's load it up. Here we go. Yeah, definitely this is a way better version of the Strife. It's definitely a good reshell. It's very nice. I know it's not a complete reshell because even though it looks kind of like a reshell, it's not. Right, here we go. I used a couple of different darts in that little shot, but um, yeah, very cool blaster. I think I've said that like a hundred times now. Last time I said ten, well now it's a hundred. Really cool blaster. Get one. I think they range from twenty-five to thirty-five dollars. Definitely a better buy than something like the Zeus because I no offense, I just don't get me wrong. It's really cool that they shoot high impact rounds. It's just even though they shoot a lot better and a lot more straight and accurate, I just don't want one probably ever. I might get one eventually just to do a review and then maybe give it away. I'm not sure. But. <laughs> See, we got a jam door kind of like the Strife. Two tactical rails. Yeah. That sums it up, guys. Um. Oh, I don't know if I showed you this yet. These two things. Um. So this is supposed to look like a Magnum from Halo, and this is supposed to look kind of like, more like an SMG, but without the, um, barrel thing. I almost broke this thing actually trying to cut it open, and this part got loose, I had to cut this off, and then work on it, and finally it works again. That's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite blasters of all time, actually, because if you guys didn't know, I love Slimefire. Or if you've been a long time... Uh, viewer of my channel, um, then definitely you know I love Slamfire. Anyways, or if I've never said that, then yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe. See you guys later.